Hey, New Hope, it's Pastor Austin here. I hope that you had a great weekend and I hope that you're having a great week. We are in December and in the last month of 2020, some of you didn't think that this month was even going to be here and that it would even take place. But I am so excited for the Christmas season. We put up our Christmas tree this past Sunday afternoon after I preach. And uh, I would love to see a picture of your Christmas tree. So if you've got a picture of your Christmas tree, comment in the comment section below and I will on Facebook post a picture of our Christmas tree and I'd love to see yours too. One of the things that I talked about this past Sunday in our series in Romans chapter 2 was the importance of community and even more so than just community as a whole because there's lots of different levels as far as being in the church community and being in a small group community and, and being in a friend group community and you know all these different levels of community even more dialed in in that is having one person that is very close to you that you can trust their heart and you can trust that they have your best interests in mind and you allow that person to speak difficult truths into your life. Psalm 141.5 says, let a righteous man strike me. That is kindness. Let him rebuke me. That is oil on my head. And, and I just want to ask you, do you have someone in your life that will speak truth into your life and, and, and sand you down and polish you up and chisel down the, 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 the rough spots in your life and, and will be able to speak truth into your life? And will you receive it? Because I think sometimes we have pushed people aside that have really had our best interests in mind and are really just pushing us towards holiness. They're really just pushing us to be all that, that we can be in Christ and who he has called us to be. And we've pushed those people aside and said, oh, they're judgmental or, oh, they're just too mean or, oh, they just don't get me or they don't understand or they've got this sin or they've got that. And, and uh, scripture time and time again talks about being open to rebuke, being open to correction. And that is wisdom. That is maturity. That is what is needed to live a life that brings glory to God. And I'm so thankful for many people who have spoken truth into my life. And so this uh, year, I, I would challenge you and ask you, do you have someone that is consistently speaking truth into your life? Do you consistently speak into one or two people's lives. I, I, I can't speak direct into everyone's life, but there are a handful of people that I do speak very directly to and, and challenge them and push them. And they receive that because they trust that I have their best in, interest in mind. And so let's be a church that lives in community, but even more than that, a church that is open to rebuke, a church that is open to correction, a church that is open to being pushed in the direction that God would want us to live our lives. Let me pray for you. God, I thank you for everyone watching this. I pray that you would bring about names of individuals in our life that we can trust, that we can ask them to speak truth so that we can be all that you have called us to be. And I pray that we would not be afraid and shy away from confrontation, but, but we as a church would sharpen each other and encourage each other as the day of judgment approaches. And so help us do that and accomplish all that you'd have for us to accomplish here on earth. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. And I hope that you have a great week. We'll see you soon.